So people are familiar with uh, origami, the Japanese art of paper folding, where you can make cranes and all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's also kirigami, which is the Japanese art of paper cutting. And so we were the first to use this idea of kirigami and metal materials to program how a structure would deform under flow and uh, make a parachute out of it. Uh, we're able to make a parachute for very, with very little and simple materials, like a sheet of paper, plastic, uh, cardboard. Uh, so we can make parachutes that are cheap to make, but also they could be recyclable, uh, reusable, or even biodegradable. So our parachute, because it's made with uh, these hundreds of cuts, uh, it pushes the flow through all these small holes and basically it breaks down all the big coherent uh, eddies that could be uh, present in the wind and it makes this highly turbulent but highly homogeneous wake uh, behind our parachutes and so it makes it very stable. It, fall, it falls in a straight line with very little drift. So we could imagine using them for, for drone delivery, for humanitarian airdrops or perhaps even to drop uh, sensors during hurricanes so that uh, uh, meteorologists could uh, measure different properties of the storm at different altitudes with parachutes and so these kirigami parachutes could be made very cheap uh, to achieve this, these kind of applications.